Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with the blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of the Giorgio Piola G5. Uh, Giorgio Piola is an Italian illustrator, a technical illustrator who has been following the world of Formula One racing for many years, drawing some of the most beautiful illustrations of cars, car engines, and various other technical systems related to how the cars are made, including everything from from suspensions to steering wheels. And his name is now a brand. And the people that work with him that manage his brand decided it was a really good idea to create um, a lifestyle brand that has things like some apparel, um, of course, prints um, of his work, as well as a few watches. And this is the first mechanical watch, and it's the G5. And I should probably have kept it wound. <clears throat> On paper, this watch is not one that I really thought I would like, right? There's a lot of different colors going on. There are a fair number of elements on here that traditionally I wouldn't think make, make for an awesome look. For example, they, the, the disc rotor style bezel and all these sort of Formula One inspired colors. But when I, when I received this watch, I was like, that's actually pretty nice. And it's really the way that they worked with the colors and the textures and the depth of the dial and also making sure that this dial is as much as possible utilitarian so the fact that it's a tool meaning designed to tell the time and read information is of paramount importance and secondary elements like the colors and things like that were added in after the fact and that really helps make it a better timepiece the watch uses some of the cool modern materials that, that people like um, in some of the sport watches today, that especially related to motorsports. Um, and not all these materials are, are motorsports related. For example, uh, forged carbon, which probably has a role in motorsports, I'm not an expert, is what makes up the case. And you can see that nice texture um, from the forged carbon, which has actually been machined nicely. There is this anodized aluminum red ring. The bezel is titanium. The crown is uh, has a combination of elements. Actually, the crown says it's inspired by you know elements of an engine. As you can see, the brake uh, rotor style uh, bezel, and there's other little elements on the dial, mostly from the instrument gauges. And again, the chronograph is actually quite easy to read. Inside the watch is a is a Swiss Eta Valjo 7750. I would have liked for there to be a little bit more decoration. You can see it's a relatively undecorated movement there, even though you can see it. It's funny though, because one of the things somebody said to me is like, oh, look how small that movement is. And that is the size of a 7750. Um, you can see the, the steel case back here in the window. The watch is larger. So the watch is 48 millimeters wide. And because of that, uh, this, this movement is, is, is less than 40 millimeters wide, so you can see there the, the difference in size. It doesn't really bother me, but it's interesting. The strap is rubber, and it needs to be cut to size. And I found that the buckle is a little bit basic. It's just sort of some stamped pieces of black colored metal there that do the job well. One of the problems with the straps you have to cut is that it only works for the wrist of the person that it's cut for. And I think the brand might offer two straps, uh, but right now they offer one of them. And you can see the strap is custom made for here, so it's difficult to take this watch off, take the strap off and put another strap on there and have it have this nice cohesive look, which is nice. So it's not, not perfect with the strap there, though it is comfortable. Um, and I think that Ideally, I would just have sort of a normal style buckle where, you know, with just a just the RD on where the excess strap goes out there and there's like a little pin. I'd prefer that maybe a little bit, but this does have sort of a nice cohesive look there. The G5, like I said, is a big watch at 48 millimeters wide, but it wears pretty comfortably because it wraps around your wrist. Nevertheless, on my small wrist, you can see it going a little bit past the edges of my wrist there. Textures on the dial are nice. You can see the carbon fiber uh, face of the watch, and then on top of that are these applied rings for the subdials that look very good. You can see the yellow hand, the red hand, the white hand, lots of different colors there, but legibility is pretty good across the board. There is loom on the hour markers and the hands. The red color on the hands is loom, but it's a little bit pale, just simply given the fact that darker loom colors don't charge as well. That's why the lighter ones like the light green and blue and white uh, do a lot better sort of in the long run. Style-wise, there are inspirations here from other watches that sort of homage the uh, the, the world of, of, of motorsports and, and car racing. Uh, you can see here the reset and start 
chronograph buttons. They're in rubber. Uh, you know, Ublo, I believe, and some other brands have done things similar. So uh, if you want to sort of draw some parallels between this and other designs, you can. But for me, there's nothing that this inherently looks like, which I like, right? It has a distinct look. It's functional. And I don't look at it and say, oh, that's so-and-so's watch. No, this is a, I, I look at it, I'm like, oh, I'm not sure what that watch is. Um, the Giorgio Piola name, of course, is new for watchmaking. So you're not going to immediately think that. I'm actually going to move the hand there. You can see his name right there under the uh, the day of the week uh, and the date indicator windows. So again, this is the Giorgio Piola G5. I was happy with this watch. I think it was nicely done. It's certainly not for everyone. It's quite light, actually, because of the forged carbon uh, case. Price for this watch is $2,985. Um, not the cheapest watch in the world, but I think there's a lot of bang for your buck there. So you can see the full review of the G5 on a Blotto watch. Thanks. <music>